What's Phil happening? Rucker is here uh, joining us uh, from The Washington Post, of course, national editor, the co-author of two books on Donald Trump, A Very Stable Genius, and I Alone Can Fix It. Phil, did you have come across Robert Costello in your reporting? Andrea, Robert Costello has been a lawyer uh, sort of in this orbit for a number of years. I believe he represented Michael Cohen and uh, was was sort of somebody that Cohen could go to uh, for help navigating this world. But he was connected to Rudy Giuliani as well. That's right. He also represented uh, Rudy Giuliani and, and in fact, uh, in some instances, I believe, uh, you know, spoke on Mr. Giuliani's behalf. Phil, I'm just curious, in terms of the politics of this case, I know we're, we're getting into the weeds on testimony and who they're calling and the nitty-gritty on certain phone calls and when they were happening and when they weren't happening, what might have been discussed. The larger picture, though, and, and is not whether this case is going to turn out to be a conviction for Donald Trump or, or not, but what it might possibly mean for the election. How, what is your sense of whether this is landing or, or people are or whether people are paying attention at all? Well, just one thing to keep in mind at the outset of all of this is so many Americans have fixed views of Donald Trump. The like the, the, the universe of, of voters who are truly persuadable here who might have their opinions about Trump changed based on this trial is very, very small. And then you have to wonder how many of them are really paying attention to the hour by hour uh, turns in, in this saga here. I think we'll have a much clearer picture after there's a verdict uh, and there can be some fresh polling at that point. We might have some sense from anecdotally interviewing voters and in focus groups in some of these key states to see whether the verdict uh, ends up changing any opinions at all. But my, my gut tells me it, it will not change that many minds just because so many people know so much about Trump and already have such firm opinions about him. Does it him. change the way Donald Trump campaigns? Does it change the way uh, President Biden campaigns if Donald Trump is a convicted felon? When they, when they debate. Yeah. If yeah, they debate. certainly. <laughs> well, they're, they're, hopefully they're, they're scheduled to be debating next month, and I think it certainly does change the dynamics around the campaign. I mean, if Donald Trump is out there running for office as a convicted felon, uh, that's something that I think Biden will be talking about uh, regularly and will be part of the, of the biography, part of the narrative of the Trump campaign. And I also think it might change how Trump campaigns, because he'll campaign even more so as an aggrieved victim, as somebody who uh, argues to his supporters that he was wronged by the criminal justice system and he needs to be reelected in order to fix it all. Uh, and, and so I think it could really uh, create a different dynamic between these two candidates.